Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The yes, earth and, and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. 
Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 71 My security rests in you, O God. Let me never be put to shame. By, By your saving, saving power deliver, deliver me. Hear me and keep, keep me safe. Be a rock of refuge for me, to which I can always come. Keep me safe from the power of the wicked, from the grasp of the cruel and unjust. As long as I can remember, I have put my trust in you. I have leaned on you since birth, when you brought me out of the womb. Keep close when energy fails me, as I spend my last years on earth. Let me wait in constant hope and praise you again and again.
for the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Living God, with devotion we pray, as we are aware of your presence, open ourselves to your blessing and find in you the peace for which we yearn. Loving God, in gratitude we pray, for the gifts of life and love, for the companionship of Jesus and all God's people on our pilgrim journey, for times of wonder and beauty, revelation and understanding, hope and faith. Healing God, bringing our concerns, we pray, for you place us in community and not isolation. So may your healing touch restore those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Bring peace to those who are living with loss. Give hope to all who have an uncertain future. Ever-present God, our Creator, Christ, our Companion, Holy Spirit, our Comforter, hear these prayers and the silent cries of all our hearts. Amen. We pray for the needs of the world and the life of the Church. On this sixth day of the month, with the whole Iona community around the world, we pray for the following concerns of the community. The ecumenical movement, ecumenical organisations and bodies in our own countries and worldwide. We pray also for the following countries and their people. Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. We pray for the Ionic community members belonging to the family group of Central Scotland. Alan Miller and Lucy Miller with Barnabas 
and Jacob, Betty Milne and Willie Milne, Joyce Muir and Ken, Margaret Stewart and Frank. On the sixth day of this month, we pray for associate members in Fife. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness, and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community that hidden things may be revealed to us and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we preserve, preserve with each other sincere charity and peace. And, and if, if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continue still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love. God in community, holy and one.